feeling a bit lonely this morning with all you guys and there's not even one other woman here today. Okay, got that over with. But um, I want to ask you some questions. First of all, has anybody here worked with a coach previously? Is that okay? Huh? Over a mentor? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, one of the most annoying habits of a coach is that he or she asks question after question after question. And sometimes that is the, um, the thing that the entire session with a client consists of. Now, those questions always have a rhyme and a reason in order to help move you forward with a big project or some other facet of your life. So I'm going to be an annoying coach. I'm going to ask a few questions. Have you ever asked yourself, and I don't believe there's anybody in this room who hasn't asked themselves, why am I here? Why are we here? What's our purpose? Now, and if I were to guess, most of you would say yes. However, there's another question. And that question is, have you found a satisfactory answer? Again, my guess is that most of you would say no. One more question. Bear with me. Coaches just can't stop asking questions. One more question. Would you raise your hand if you've ever written a personal statement of purpose or a personal mission statement. Anybody? One. That's awesome. Can you recite it at gunpoint? No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the criteria that's often given about any kind of mission statement that pertains to you personally. If you can't do that, it prob you're probably not quite home yet as to what your mission statement is. <laughs> So today what I want to do is just give you an introduction and I have to say that I said I would try to cut back on my time so I'm going to do that and this discussion this morning is just simply an introduction to how to find your purpose in life. Discovering your real purpose Finding out the very reason you exist, if you will, is challenging at best. I was introduced to the idea of having a personal mission, I don't know, 10 years ago, something like that. And even though I was living my mission, I didn't call it that. I didn't know what to call it. I didn't have anything written out, nothing formal. And when you don't have an, an, an idea of who you are, what your mission is, chances are, as you've all heard, you're going to end up someplace else or you're going to fulfill your reason for being here at a much lower level than you might otherwise if you knew exactly why you're here. Stephen Covey, whom I'm assuming many of you know of, He's, a, he's the author of Seven, ha Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He tells us in one short paragraph, which I love, what the benefits are of having a mission statement. He says, writing or reviewing a mission statement changes you because it forces you to think it forces you to look at your priorities deeply. It carefully um, shows you how to align your behavior with your beliefs. Now, when I discovered my own purpose, I went through a process. I'm just, this is the essence, the very beginning of about 12 week coaching program. So bear with me because I can't cover it in five minutes. Um, 
the first step, the first step in my quest to understand who I am is, I, and I believe I've talked to you guys about this, it's that memory of a little girl hiding underneath a dining room table, three, four years old, something like that, and a house full of screaming, angry adults. I was scared. That's why I was under the table. I figured if they didn't find me, they couldn't yell at me. What I just described to you in the world of purpose is considered a defining moment. Something that was so significant that when you thought about it, it pushed you in a direction and that direction is probably your first glimpse of what your true purpose is. Okay, I can, without going into more details, I eventually learned my purpose, which is to demonstrate and inspire effective communication. There are many, many other methods for unearthing your purpose. A lot of it, here we go, we're back to questions again. But a set of carefully crafted questions in either a group or individual coaching situation can create interactions like you probably haven't, that you wouldn't normally have sitting around the kitchen table. Things like, what am I chasing after? Why am I chasing it? Why in the heck was I put, put here to chase it? Other questions might be, what makes you smile? What activities make you lose track of time? <coughs> Who inspires you the most? And what are you naturally good at? So, I think this is a topic that I will expand on it in the future so we can get into more detail. But today, if you just take one thing away from this talk, it would be, and this is with uh, apologies to uh, writer George, <coughs> George Eliot, it's never too late to be what you might have been.